Hi, this is Dawn at the Atlanta Voice Studios, and we have here with us today Councilwoman Felicia Moore. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. We're so blessed to have you here. Um, tell us about your campaign for Mayor of Atlanta. How's that been for you? It's been exciting. Been mm -hmm. getting around the city, meeting all the different residents and stakeholders of the city, mm -hmm. and sharing with them my positive campaign for change, and they've been receiving it and keeping me motivated as well. Now tell us how you're going to encourage all of Atlantans to support you? Well, getting out and amongst them, mm -hmm. listening to their concerns. You know, we've been reaching out, whether it's by phone, I've been picking up the phone calls, <laughs> uh, the virtual meetings, mm -hmm. going to different events across the city and hosting events so that I have an opportunity to hear directly from our citizens what it is that they would like. Now, for your experience as a city, a city councilwoman, and you were president of the city council, um, share with our viewers, you know, some of the things you were able to do during your term. Well, I was council member for District 9, which is a wonderful district. It really uniquely set me to run for mayor because it's the only district in this city that actually runs from Bankhead, mm. which is now Donnelly Hollowell Parkway, right. to Buckhead. Wow. And everything in between in a large Latino population. So I'm used to serving a very diverse district, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's income, ethnicity. But one thing I find, and that's the same thing I'm finding when I ran for president and running for mayor across the city, that everybody has the same issues. Mm. They want the city government to be responsive to them. Mm -hmm. uh, they want people who are going to do it ethically, mm -hmm. transparently, and with accountability. Mm -hmm. They want their city services that they pay for. And more importantly, right now, the issue of the day is making sure our city is safe. Right, and before you became city council president, how long were you on city council? I was on city council council for five turns, which mm -hmm. is 20 years. Wow. Every time I say it, I can't believe time flew <laughs> like that. Uh, but I always wanted to be president of council. I mm -hmm. love rules of order, parliamentary procedure, and I had an opportunity to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored to serve as president of city council. Now. That's awesome to hear. And this is what got you to the next level of saying, I'm ready to run for mayor. Well, actually, yes. And because of the uh, duties of the president, the mm -hmm. president will serve uh, in case the mayor uh, has resigned or move on. And so we know our mayor was very instrumental in helping a President Biden and it was thought that she may leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I had to be prepared. It was all over Twitter. Huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I had to be prepared to be the mayor of the city. And so right. I started preparing, started preparing to run and then ultimately made that decision in late January. Well, I made it a little earlier, but mm -hmm. because all the stuff that was going on in DC, yeah. I announced in late January. Right. Now, if you are elected mayor, do you kind of have an idea of what you're looking for in, your, in a cabinet? I want people who can get things done, mm -hmm. uh, who are experts in their own field, but also share the same vision that I do and that's trying to make this city great mm -hmm. and to do things to help uh, the citizens of our city, people who have a heart for service. Mm -hmm. So they're not doing it because they want the paycheck or the job, but they're mm -hmm. doing it because they truly love what they do. I always find when people do what they love to do, mm -hmm. they do the best. Right, I love to hear that, they really do. <laughs> Just like you love doing what yes, you do, I can I tell. Do. Thank you, Ms. Ray. Um, <laughs> but um, the next mayor mm -hmm. um, is gonna have to work on possibly repairing that state and city relationship. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, within the time frame that you've been on city council, and you've seen various mayors deal with state and city. Mm -hmm. What are you going to bring to the table to kind of improve those relationships? Well, I think I can say very confidently that mm -hmm. I've already built a very solid foundation for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I'm an active member of the Georgia Municipal Association. That's the organization that's made up of cities across the state. Mm -hmm. And we advocate at the state legislature. I've met with and met with uh, many of the state representative, mm -hmm. the governor, lieutenant governor. I've, I've been appointed to commissions from the lieutenant governor. Mm -hmm. So I've already built those seeds of relationships, not only uh, statewide, mm -hmm. but also nationally. Mm -hmm. And I'm also on the Atlanta Regional Commission. I hold leadership posts there. Mm -hmm. So I have a relationship with our regional partners, our mm -hmm. county commission chairs, our um, city and state and community mm -hmm. officials that are involved in that. So I already have those relationships built. They know who I am. Mm -hmm. I know who they are. 
and I've uh, had an honor to work with them as president and mm -hmm. council. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to it as mayor. Oh, that's awesome. Now tell us one thing that nobody knows about Felicia Moore because you've just been doing your job. Oh gosh, <laughs> uh, there's probably a lot that people don't know, but let me see if I can think of that one thing. But some people know, because I've, I've been asked this question mm -hmm. before, but one of the things that I always wanted to do, mm -hmm. uh, and really was what really propelled me to go to uh, college, okay. was that I, I loved being, a, I wanted to be a cheerleader. Oh wow. And then I always <laughs> want, and I was able to do that, but I always wanted to be one uh, for on the national stage or at, mm -hmm. at college and mm -hmm. so that's what really gave me the passion to go to an HBCU right. which is historically black college and university mm -hmm. Central State University mm -hmm. and it kept me motivated <laughs> and I'm also I'm an actress okay people don't know that I was a thespian in in high school and college and mm -hmm. so those are a few things that I that I wish I had more time to do, but right, I, right, I really right. like to do it. Most people don't know about That's it. That's awesome. Now, she you might think she's putting on the act, but she's the real deal. I am. And you can really support her <laughs> as one of her biggest cheerleaders because she is running for mayor of Atlanta, and we'll have more from her later.